Radio, star five. Fifteen okay. seconds remaining in our hold. Copy. Again. Star seven, that will pick up momentarily. CGLS, pick up the clock on your mark. CGLS, copy. Three, two, one, mark. T minus five minutes. T minus five minutes and counting. TLT, OTC, perform APU start. TLT in work. And CDI, OTC, reconfigure heaters. Copy in work. T minus four minutes, 41 seconds and counting. All systems are go and weather is green. Flight direct to entity. Houston flight entity. MTD, Houston flight. I have two seconds of drain back hold remaining. Two, two seconds. seconds. The ground launch sequencer will verify that the three main engines are ready to start. The booster joint heaters are being deactivated at this time. T minus 48 seconds and we're transferring to orbiter internal power. Discovery is now running out of its uh, three onboard fuel cells. Coming up on a go for auto sequence start at T minus 31 seconds. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. 20 seconds. The sound suppression water system has been activated, protecting Discovery and the launch pad from acoustical energy waves. Go for main engine start. Start. Two, one, booster ignition. And the final liftoff of Discovery, a tribute to the dedication, hard work, and pride of America's space shuttle team. The shuttle has cleared the tower. This is Mission Control Houston. The space shuttle now rolling over onto its back with a half-minute ride into orbit. Discovery now making one last reach for the stars. Houston, you are go at throttle up. Will Commander Steve Lindsay acknowledging the call from Capcom Charlie Hobie as Discovery's three main engine throttle back up. Lindsay is joined on the flight deck by pilot Eric Bow and mission specialist Al Drew and Nicole Stott. Mission Specialist Mike Barrett and Steve Bowen. Discovery's three main engines are burning fuel at a rate that would drain an average swimming pool in about 25 seconds. The engines combined with the solid rocket boosters produce more than 7 million pounds of thrust. One minute, 50 seconds into the flight, we're standing by for separation of the twin solid rocket boosters. Discovery now traveling 2,695 miles an hour. Its altitude 24 miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center 29 miles. Booster separation confirmed. Discovery's guidance is now converging as the shuttle's onboard computers fine-tune the flight. Two minutes, 25 seconds into the flight, Discovery traveling 3,189 miles an hour. It's altitude 37 miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center 53 miles. Discovery now getting a boost into orbit from its twin orbital maneuvering system engines on either side of the shuttle's tail. These two engines will burn for two minutes and 32 seconds. Your two engine tau, uh, we do have updates to your NOCOM mode boundaries, and we did launch late into pane one, our only pane. The uh, contingency aboard boundaries we'll use are in plane plus 230. 
Let me know when you're ready to copy the new Presta ATO and Presta Miko. Okay, copy all. Two engines tail is ready to copy. Into your Presta ATO 11.9, Presta Miko 15.4. Decimal, 11.9 and 15.4. That's a good read back on both. Discovery can now make it to emergency landing sites in Europe should one of the engines fail, but all three engines continue to perform as expected. Capcom Charlie Hoba updating the crew there with some uh, updated uh, time information due to the later than planned launch. Three minutes and 50 seconds into the flight, the shuttle traveling 4,700 miles an hour. Discovery, you are negative return. Negative return. Discovery now traveling too high and too fast to return to the Kennedy Space Center in the event of an engine failure. But all three main engines continue to function as expected. The shuttle now traveling 5,200 miles an hour. Its altitude 62 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 170 miles. Discovery's engines are now swiveling to roll the shuttle to a heads-up position to get better communication with NASA's tracking satellites. Discovery, your single engine, Zaragoza 104. Single engine, Zaragoza 104. Discovery can now make it to emergency landing sites in Europe should two engines fail at this point, but the flight continues to go well. It's altitude 67 miles, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 447 miles. Pico, BIM for you, nominal shutdown on all three, and Pinto, you'll be go for the plus X and go for the pitch. Chris D'Amico, nominal shutdown, go for the plus X, go for the pitch. Good read back. A call from Capcom, Charlie Hobai, indicating that Commander Steve Lindsay has a go to press to main engine cutoff as expected in about a minute and a half. Main engine cutoff confirmed. Space Shuttle Discovery now in space. External tank separation confirmed. Commander Steve Lindsay will steer the shuttle up to the uh, forward portion of the external tank so that the umbilical well camera can, can capture some images of it. Discovery, we saw nominal Miko Ohms 1 not required. Preliminary TIG for Ohms 2 3730. Welcome to you and your veteran crew back to space. Copy, uh, no Ohms 1 required.